Hello and big welcome to a channel which has more than 100 videos for all sorts of skills. Largest skill catering channel. If you are watching this, I think it would be of great importance to you. If it is not important for you, then please forward it to someone who is looking for a job. And today we have an important topic for you all. And the topic is an interview question, what motivates you the most? Here we begin. As straightforward as it may sound, this interview question can be quite tricky. The difficulty lies in the definition of motivation. The best way to think of motivation is as the reason that makes you do what you do. It would be as simple as waking up early so you have time to make coffee before leaving the house or as personal as applying for a job at Google just so you can prove a point to the teacher who always called you an underachiever. Another reason why this question is challenging for a lot of candidates is its scope for misinterpretation. To avoid getting it wrong, if you need to understand why this question is often asked in an interview so you can respond along the lines of what a recruiter will expect. How common is the question and when might it be asked? What motivates you is particularly popular in strengths-based interviews which evaluate your suitability for the role by assessing what you do well and what you enjoy doing. As competency-based interviews generally form part of all applications, regardless of the role, it's likely you will have to respond to this question at least once, often early in the application process. But what it does actually, what it actually means and why will the interview ask it? So what gets you out of bed in the morning? What is the interviewer really asking? Finding a satisfactory answer to what motivates you has perplexed many an interviewee. Endlessly broad and seemingly vague, it can feel like a bit of a trick question. In reality, it is purposefully designed to find out a range of information about you, including what you enjoy doing, what you respond well to, how you think, what your values are, how you might fit into the team and company, how your characteristics match the role requirements, how they, your employers, can motivate you, whether you will be motivated enough in the role to carry it out successfully. Although many of these factors may also relate to your career, the interviewer is trying to find out what motivates you in general what kind of personality you have and what driving forces inspire you in your everyday life. Put simply, the interviewer is not trying to know you as a professional but as a person. An interesting answer from you might even spark a conversation between you and the interviewer, which is an excellent opportunity for them to find out a little more about you as an individual. Keep in mind that just because a person is a great performer does not equate to them being a great fit for a role. What is the interviewer not asking? Although it may appear to be doing so, what motivates you is not asking. What motivated you to apply to us? Why do you want this role? What are your career ambitions in relation to this role? Nor is it solely a career or role based question. You will be making a mistake if you answer only in the context of the job you have applied for or a profession you want to join. Think of it more like you are walking down the street when a reporter with a cameraman stops you and asks you what motivates you in your life. While it is best that you answer this question as naturally as possible, do not dwell into negativity and start describing things what that don't motivate you. So how to prepare in advance? What should you consider? What should you avoid? The key to answering this question is to think about what you are good at, what you really enjoy, whether at work, university or socially, and how it could be of benefit to the role and company you are applying for. As a starting point, it can be useful to review your CV or recent coursework to help you remember times when you have felt really motivated and enjoyed a project or task. This will also ensure you can give examples to support your answers. The main points to consider would be what you really enjoy and why, what you are good at, what hobbies you like and why, what they have in common, 
how you work best for example do you like working as part of a team in a quiet environment or in a target driven situation what examples can you give to illustrate your points how these characteristics match the role and company you have applied for which of these characteristics will make you a positive prospect for the employer as opposed to a burden so motivation professional your answer should be a mix of you telling the interviewer about your motivations as a whole which also includes your profession when answering in terms of profession think of your past achievement and recall the factors that motivated you to make those achievements real examples help to strengthen your answers motivation it comes when it comes to personal think of your passions and hobbies to recollect the motivations in your personal life do you play a particular sport do you like gardening do you often help the homeless figure out the reasons why you enjoy doing these things and express that now tips on how to give effective answers keep these pointers in mind while answering the question to stay on track from the beginning of your answer to the end so know yourself you can only answer questions about a particular product when you know that product in a similar way you have to know yourself to answer this question aptly second prepare well if you are watching this video you are already doing the preparation don't revert to generic answers because you haven't done sufficient preparation beforehand third show enthusiasm don't forget that you are talking about motivation there should be enthusiasm in your voice and passion in the way you talk and answers given with enthusiasm has the interviewer half convinced already next speak the truth don't make things up just to make your answers impressive the conviction in your voice when you speak the truth makes every word a powerful statement when you don't speak the truth you crush that conviction what is important next is mistakes to avoid and don't do any of these what give vague answers employers want to see that you are well prepared and enthusiastic so ensure answers are precise and give real examples to support them next talk about money salary is important but mention it as your main motivation and you risk turning employers off the exception to this is if you are applying for a sales or commission based role even then it should still be one not the only factor you mention next is lie never never lie your answer should always be honest and reflect who you are to ensure you are the best fit for that role lying gets you in trouble because you don't remember more than half of the details 5 minutes later what you often end up doing is giving conflicting and confusing answers now get set for five good sample answers how possibly you can answer to a question what motivates you the most the best answers will generally focus on three points and those are challenges results and recognition and will cite real life example that show how you can be of benefit to the company and role you are applying for so sample number 1 in case if you are uh, going for let's say general sales manager sales manager could be i am motivated by building and coaching a successful team to ensure we meet and exceed targets for example i work closely with one of my junior sales team in my previous role to ensure he developed the sales and negotiation skills he needed to succeed he'd been struggling but as a result of the work we did together for the past quarter he has exceeded his targets by 30% this has not only boosted his and the entire team's overall performance commission and morale it has also given me a real sense of pride to have been part of his professional development and success what if you are applying for a travel agent or a travel consultant i am motivated by growing our repeat client base by forming successful relationship with new clients last summer i attended the tnt travel show and made contact with 40 potential clients of that number 25 went on to book at least one trip with me eight of which were round the world itineraries since their return 16 have approached me to discuss booking further trips and have recommended myself and our agency to their friends and family four of whom have already booked on a cruise with us next july that gave me a real sense of achievement
now if you are applying for a junior software engineer or a trainee engineer then the answer could be i am motivated by working with my team to solve complex coding issues and guarantee improve customer satisfaction for example last month we discovered a bug that stopped online payments being made via our new app outside this country working together we broke down the issue analyzing the code and attempting different fixes until we found the solution because we work well together as a team we were able to solve the issue in 24 hours limiting the financial impact on the company and helping resolve the frustration felt by our customers who were then able to place their orders successfully combining problem solving with tangible results for the company is a great motivator now if you are applying for a, as a junior investment banker on in the banks the answer could be I love assisting people with financial challenges and helping them overcome those challenges. For example, one of my friends wanted to develop a gaming application. He had the team and the expertise to accomplish his goal, but he did not have the money to finance his project. I knew a friend of my father who was looking to the to invest in a small company. I helped them get in touch and finalize a deal. My friend got the money and my father's friend got a share in the profits from the app. the application is doing pretty well both the parties are happy and i am proud of my achievement now if you are applying as a junior accountant then the answer could be i have always found myself interested in helping people who have troubles managing their money my father has a small business but he has never able to make any profits from it until i offered him my help with accounts while it took some time to get my head around everything i was able to point out several tax deductible expenses that my father hadn't even considered i saved him money on his taxes and even pinpointed the expenses that could have been avoided or shrunken because they were eating away his profits i am happy that my knowledge of accounts helps me see things that are often invisible to other guys now these are few hint these are few templates you can take help of any if you are applying to any specific job or and go ahead and win the battle right i am very sure you are going to do it best wishes thank you